myself a mule deer this fall, archery mule deer. Had it all butchered up into some ground hamburger, some Italian sausage, breakfast sausage, got some pepperoni, and some obviously backstrap steaks all in the freezer. But I wanted to share a recipe that you can use for a great snack. You can even put it on sandwiches. Uh, we love to have it around around Christmas time and Thanksgiving as an appetizer. It is a deer salami with just a few ingredients that you use your ground deer hamburger. Uh, it tastes delicious and it's super simple. It takes a few days to make, but let's jump in. I'll show you how it's done. First, you start with five pounds of your lean ground deer hamburger. Then it's only these five ingredients. First, start with five heaping teaspoons of Morton Tender Quick Salt, no substitutions for this. Then, three level teaspoons of garlic salt. You'll add four and a half teaspoons of mustard seed, followed by two teaspoons of liquid smoke. Make sure you're precise with this. Lastly, four and a half teaspoons of coarse ground pepper. Make sure to mix it together thoroughly. Divide the meat into three equal parts and heavily bag it. Next comes three days of refrigeration and kneading. So it's the first day. Looks like the meat's already started to darken up and cure. So we just need to knead it. Basically roll it over on each other, massage the meat in each package, all three packages for just a few minutes each, once a day for three days, getting it ready to cook. Make sure it's double bagged, nice and thick. And after three days, he'll be ready to go. All right, it's cook day. We've had this in the fridge, kneading it for three days, once a day for three days. So now we just got to take each uh, bag out and we roll it into a nice kind of uh, log of salami here. Try to get it as uh, not super thick, just kind of an average look of a salami. As you would see if you sliced a salami up. So you want to try to make sure that all three of them are close to the equal size. So you get it formed and you want the length of the piece of salami to be about the width of your broiler pan here. So it goes about all the way across. Okay, so we have them all formed up. A lot of ovens won't go down to 150 degrees that the, the recipe calls for. Uh, some are about 160, 170. Ours goes down to about 170. So if you watch that for about eight hours, that should be just fine. So we'll go ahead and throw it in the oven for the next eight hours and be ready to go. Eight hours later. All right, it's been just a little over eight hours and we're ready to take the salami out. Let's take a look. Smells delicious. We're gonna let it cool just a little bit and then we'll slice it up and take a bite. Like I said, there's a lot of ways you can eat this. Either just slice it up and eat it, put it on a sandwich is really good, but my favorite way is with some smoked cheddar cheese on some Ritz crackers. Really mild and really good. Go ahead and give the recipe a try and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see our latest videos as they come out. Follow us on Instagram at Bucking Outdoors and like us on Facebook to follow all the Bucking Outdoors adventures.